Hello, this is Jamie from randomiseuser.com, and today on Officer we're playing Duskers, a game coming out on Steam Early Access very soon. Now, in this game, you're a matey boy who owns a spaceship um, in a universe that's basically buggered, um, and all the other ships have gone derelict and are now full of threats. So you have to dock with one of those ships and salvage anything you can using nothing but a bunch of remote control droids, each with their own skills. And so these are my boys. My boys. Zack, Kyle, and Twicky. Zack can gather scrap metal. Kyle can generate power if he can find a generating spot on the ship. And Twicky um, can tow things around the place and he can also detect what's nearby. Every time you play, these skills are differently assigned. And in fact, the entire universe is procedurally generated. So you never play the same game twice. So this is the other main screen that you look at in this game, other than the CCTV feed. This is the schematic view, where you can actually command everything um, just as much as you can on this screen, uh, but this gives you more of a map view. So yeah, if you look at the screen and think, holy dicks, get me out of here, then th this game might not be for you. Um, and yes, it does take a bit of a leap of faith to get the real joys of this game. I'm just going to open the door A1 and go inside. Um, because there are screens, yeah, there are screens full of text. Oh, Kyle, get out of the way. Um, there are screens full of text, and you have to type in commands for the most part instead of using your mouse. But it does become second nature very quickly. So actually, let's get into this properly before I lose you all. Right, so I've got a bunch of rooms. Um, I'm going to move. I'm going to move all my droids into R2. So I'm just going to navigate. I'm going to type in a command for R, um, droids one and three to go into R2. So I don't have to do that myself. So there they all go. Um, it takes a bit of time for them to sort themselves out sometimes because they have to get through narrow gaps. Right, so there's a bit of scrap metal on the floor that I've discovered. Right, who's got the gathering skill? Um, Zack. Okay, so I'm going to make him gather all the scrap that we've found in this room. So he's going to do that automatically. Um, two, um, Kyle, is um, the generator. So he's going to go over to the generating station up here. And he's going to generate us some power. So now, all the things that I've turned green, I can now operate. Which are mainly doors, which I can open and close. I can toggle them as necessary. Uh, also, let's let's explore um, this room as well, because th this door is already open. Right, I've found some more scrap metal and also another generator, which will generate different, well, which will power different doors. So let me just um, use him to gather all the scrap in this. There we go. In the meantime, um, droid number three, um, I'm going to detect to see if there are any threats in this ship, because I think there's going to be one threat somewhere. So if I type in motion, um, droid number three, all the rooms that are adjacent to droid number three, oh, here we go. So I've detected in rooms um, R4 there's nothing, and in R5 there's a threat. So I don't want to go into R5, because then the threat, whatever it is, probably a killer robot, will destroy my droids. And we don't want that! So this is where the strategy comes in. You've got to herd the threat into different rooms, and then seal it in. Okay, so I'm going to go into room R4, because that's safe. Um, if I toggle door D4, I can send in my one droid, my gatherer. Um, and he can gather all the scrap in here. I'm actually finding loads of stuff, actually. I think there's also some fuel. So what I'm, I'm going to be cunning now. I want to go into room R5. So I'll go out, toggle D4, uh, and now um, I'm going to open door D5. Um, I'm going to let the threat wander into R4, and, and then I'm going to close the door behind him. So wait for it. Yep. There we go. Right, so now the threat is in R4. Um, R5 is open or um, open for business. So let's open door D5, D9 and go and explore it. Hopefully there'll be like a... Um, there we go, I found a droid. I found a dead droid called Holly. And type in info and it'll tell me about it. Yep, a drone called Holly. Looks like it's actually not completely d destroyed, so I'll be able to salvage it. Um, I, I type in swap to see if there's got any um, useful upgrades. And um, Holly has. Um, Holly can provide me with a lure. So now I've moved that upgrade into my Zack. Uh, now I need to tow that um, droid back to my ship and I'll be able to mend it and put it to use um, in future. So what was it? Twicky. Okay, Twicky is now going to... I've, now I've stopped using the motion thing, now I've moved him. Twicky, I can go over here, type in tow, uh, and now I'm going to make it automatically drag it back to my ship. So navigate droid number three to R1. And as you can see, automatically, Twicky is going to do a bit of towing uh, while everyone else just sits around and, I don't know, plays cards, robo cards or something, I don't know. Right, so now I can continue exploring. You can actually swap these skills between them. So if I wanted to put, like, um, a assemble a droid with both the motion skill and the gather skill in one, I could just type in swap and move things between them. In fact, let's do that. Let's, um, 
let's swap um, the gather skill into three. So now, three can do pretty much everything without anyone else's help. <laughs> Apart from get round Zack, who's the bastard. Right, that's pretty much this ship sorted. This is a quite a simple one. There's only one threat which I've successfully herded away. So what I'm going to do now is go um, send all my droids back to my ship. So navigate uh, one, two, and three. I'm going to send them all back to room number one along with my salvage droid. There they all go. If I wanted to, um, if the um, strategy um, called for it, I could redock my ship on the right hand side of the level at airlock two. Um, that might be necessary if, for instance, um, Room 2 became flooded with radiation and became impassable. So here's my local solar system. Um, I'm currently um, on that ship there and I can move to these, I can travel to these other places where there are further um, ships um, with basic one infestation types if you look at the information on the right. However, what I could also do is zoom out to the galaxy um, and explore that. Um, in my local area, there's only one other system. Let's have a look at that. Um, a bunch more ships. There can be also different sorts of things, like more threatening ships um, uh, and, um, and various other weird stuff that um, this, this view isn't actually showing. Sometimes there's yellow things and all sorts of things. Okay, so I've moved my ship um, from uh, one system to another, um, and I'm going to decide which um, ship I'm going to salvage next. I think just to demonstrate that it gets a bit harder, I'm going to travel to this one because it's got two infestation types. So this should be... Uh, possibly disastrous. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to worry about um, changing my loadout. Um, it's a bit complicated for now. Um, yep. Uh, you can read these logs if you want. No, you can't. Ha-ha! <laughs> right. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is going to be a bit more complicated. Okay, so here's the situation in this place. Uh, the long, thin room that I, that's adjacent, and the only, the only place I can actually go at the moment, because those are the only powered doors, um, that's got a threat in it. Um, so my options are very limited, but what I'm going to try and do, um, as before, is herd the threat out into... Um, I'm going to open door D3 um, and hope for the best. Right, there we go. Right, so the threat has now moved out of that room. So I think I'm now safe to open D5. Uh, let's get number 3 in there. Oh, plenty of stuff in here. Let's have a look. Uh, there's, a, there's a defensive thing. There's an... Oh god, there's, a, there's an upgrade! Um, okay, um, that's good. Um, who's got the towing thing? Uh, you have. So, let's tow. Um, right. Uh-oh. Right. Um, get out of there. Um, right. Um, door D3, which I just, um, oh god, hang on. Navigate. I'm going to get my droid out of there as quickly as possible. So I'll navigate droid number three back to R1. Uh, I'm going to close D5 quickly. There we go. Okay, so the threat um, is probably breaking down D3 as we speak. Oh god, this, that room is so full of trove as well. Oh god. Right, so D3 has now been permanently destroyed. That's a bit nasty. Right. So, um, it's tempting just to completely um, sack this off at this point uh, and just go to a different derelict, because this is, this is getting very threatening indeed. Um, I could use a... Oh, what's this? Oh, he's got through... What's, what's, what's attacking him? Oh, something's attacking him. Run away. Now we group. Okay, so who's got... Um, right, motion. I'm going to stick in my... Oh, no, it's okay. I, I, don't know what I, was, um, I, I don't know what was actually attacking me there. Um, but um, it seems to be not there anymore, so uh, I think I'll stop panicking. Um, this, this, this matey boy seems to have all the, um, the skills. So, really, all I need to... Oh, God, what's th what is this? There's more stuff. I think the ship is starting to fall to bits. I, I, no, it's spreading. It's spreading, whatever it is. Okay, let's get out of here. Damn it. Yeah, the whole thing about um, procedurally generated stuff is that sometimes uh, you are going to have to um, cut your losses. So, right, let's get out of here. Um, I didn't manage to salvage much, but I did find an upgrade. Uh, the basic strategies do seem fairly straightforward, like you just heard things around the place, use lures and all sorts of things. You can pry open doors as if you can find the prying skill. Um, but yeah, it, the, I think the, um, the, the, the main strategy is kind of a, a more emergent after you've played it quite a bit. So on, a, on first glance it might put you off, but you need to actually get heavily deep into it before you start to realise this is bloody good and a lot of fun. I've only really touched the surface so far. Um, so thanks for watching. This has been Jamie from Randomized User. Um, subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.